Hello everybody, in this video we are going to discuss about the magnifying power of a simple microscope. Simple microscope means it is a single convex lens. Now we do know that when an object is kept between the focus and the optical center of the convex lens, the image which is formed is behind the object, it is virtual in nature and it is enlarged. Now, what do you mean by magnifying power? For magnifying power, first of all, you need to think that there is a very small tiny object. Now, that is kept in front of the eye at a distance which is least distance of the distinct vision. So, this distance from the eye is D. That is least distance of the distinct vision that is 25 centimeters from the eye directly. And the head of the object is going to make certain angle with respect to the eye with respect to horizontal this angle is known as alpha okay now we will keep the same object between f and o of the convex lens and we are going to produce its virtual and enlarged image now the head of the image is going to make certain angle with respect to the eye or the convex lens so this ray is going to directly fall or you may extend this ray backward because see i am not drawing the complete ray diagram first ray goes parallel to the principal axis and passes through focus another goes directly through optical center if you extend those diverging rays backwards you will get the image so the head of the image makes certain angle beta at the optical center of the lens or the eye because eye is very very close to the lens now in this case this angle is said to be beta and the ratio of this beta and alpha is known as magnifying power so basically by how many times you are enlarging the angle is known as the magnifying power. Now since all angles are very very small, we do know the property in maths that tan alpha is equal to sin alpha is equal to alpha when angle alpha and beta are very very small. So magnifying power is basically beta by alpha. I have explained you what are beta and alpha. It can also be written as 10 beta upon 10 alpha because the angles are very very small. Now what we are going to do is we are going to first of all find out 10 alpha from this triangle. So 10 alpha is AB divided by D that is the least distance of distinct vision. Now we are going to consider this triangle in this diagram and we are going to find out the value of 10 beta that is equal to AB upon now this distance from here to here is OB and that OB distance is nothing but the object distance. So object distance is said to be U. So I am simply going to write down U. Now this AB AB gets cancelled. D by U is the general formula for the magnifying power. Now what we are going to do is we are going to take the first case in which the eye is very close and the final image is at least a distance of distinct vision that means at 25 centimeters from the eye right and that is also known as the strained eye case so when the image is nearer the image is formed at a distance d which is equal to 25 centimeters the eye is said to be strained all right now for this lens i'm going to use the lens formula 1 upon f is 1 upon v minus 1 upon u since this is a convex lens and the focal length of the convex lens is positive the image distance is from here to here so the rays are coming in this direction the image is, is formed behind virtual image so this d is minus d so the image distance is taken as negative d the object distance is of course minus we are going to take sign convention two times one during the derivation and one while we solve the numericals so if you take this on the other side this is one by u and i'm going to substitute this value of one by u over here so the magnifying power magnifying power m is equal to d times one by u this can be written as d times one by u now instead of one by u i'm going to write down one by f plus one by d so opening up the bracket this is 1 plus d by f is the answer to the problem this d is 25 centimeters and this is the least distance of distinct vision this magnifying power is strictly positive in this case you can see that all the data when you plug in over here the answer is going to come positive it means the object was forming some angle at the eye now the image is making a higher angle 
with the help of the lens so image the angle is magnified in the same direction this magnifying power positive means two things number one the angle is magnified in the same direction this with respect to horizontal this is alpha and the beta is also along the same direction this is beta over here if you look the angle is magnified in the same direction had it been beta in the negative direction that means the magnifying power is negative the another answer is that the object is like straight upright and with respect to the object the final image is also upright had it been this final image below the principal axis beta would have been in the negative direction in that case i mean below the principal axis in that case magnifying power would be negative all right so this is the first formula magnifying power does not have a unit now we'll take case two in which if we keep this object at f we know that the final image is going to be at infinity because when you look at the eye there are all the rays they are going to be parallel your eye will feel that the final image is at infinity so i'm simply going to write down magnifying power m this magnifying power m that is equal to d by u but u is simply this distance is u but u is nothing but the focal length so the magnifying power this is the minimum value and this is the maximum value so the magnifying power can have the values between 1 plus d by f and only d by f as well so you can get the any value of the magnifying power provided if this is the object i mean if the object is here that means you will have minimum magnifying power if the object is here when the final image is at d we have the maximum magnifying power so in between these two areas you will get the magnifying power which is in between these two regions